Welcome to our webcast on Concur and Expense Connect by Brittenford. In today's webcast, we will see how automating travel and expense management for your business can save you time and money and even make for happier employees. Hi, I'm Shereen Mahoney, CEO at Brittenford Systems, and I'll be your host. Joining me today is Joe Martino from Concur. Joe is a mobile app junkie and is crazy about cloud computing. He's rolled out over 700 Concur customers to date, helping to achieve efficiencies through automation with Concur over the past six years. He's a consistent presence and speaker at local and national events, including Convergence and Intact Advantage. Joe is passionate about both his company of Concur and the field of travel, expense, invoice, and mobile management. Joe stays busy as a Seattle father of four and coaching local youth in a variety of sports and organizations. Welcome, Joe. Thanks, Shereen. I'll <laughs> also joining us today is Matt Rowley, Chief Operating Officer at Brittenford. Matt is responsible for professional services, client delivery, and product development here at Brittenford. He has extensive experience in leading complex business and techno technology transformation efforts, including financial management systems, forecasting and reporting, and system integrations. He is adept at understanding client visions and couples industry experience to architect technical solutions, and project teams that deliver functional results. Thanks for joining us, Matt. Thank you, Shereen. Glad to be here and excited to talk to everyone. All right. Well, today's webcast is hosted by Brittenford Systems. At Brittenford, we help organizations harness the power of financial applications. In addition to implementing training and supporting Dynamics SL and GP, we implement the cloud-based intact financial application. For business intelligence and corporate performance management, we implement and support BI360 and host analytics. We also work with SharePoint and SQL Server for integration, reporting, and analytics. And for those of you considering the cloud, we offer cloud services engineering as well as CIO advisory services. And Brentford also has a staffing practice that specializes in placing accounting professionals in temporary, permanent, and temp to perm positions. I encourage you to ask questions during today's webcast. To ask questions, type your question in the bottom portion of the question screen as seen here. So at any time, feel free to ask us questions and we will try and answer them as quickly as we can. Our agenda for today is uh, Joe's going to give us an overview about Concur, as well as talk about how to book travel through Concur, expense reporting, audit and approval, uh, reporting, as well as AP posting. Then we'll turn it over to Matt and he'll talk a little bit more about integrating your ERP system using Expense Connect. And then we'll also have some final uh, Q&A discussions where uh, we can ask more detailed questions uh, about your, our presentation. So with that, I'll only turn it over to Joe. Awesome. Thanks so much and thank you everyone for taking the time to join us today. I'm going to go backwards here. Um, if you're not familiar with Concur, I just wanted to kick off so and familiarize everybody with who we are and sort of where we're coming from. We're the global leader in travel expense, and we actually have invoice management uh, in play as well. Uh, we're totally cloud-based, and you know, currently we've been in business for over 20 years, so we're not new to the game. Uh, we've been perfecting our back-end um, integration and automation uh, for several years. We're publicly traded. We currently have actually we're 18 million customers uh, on the solution. We're processing through about $50 billion uh, per year. Uh, we're deployed in over 100 countries. We've got uh, offices all over the world, and uh, that's who we are. So, you know, why folks are looking to automate um, this, uh, you know, travel and expense management, really the, 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 the goal core that we're looking to solve is, um, you know, automating that process. The average business um, equates to 8 to 12 percent of their operating cost. Um, that is second only to payroll, right? So it's really significant for, for all organizations, regardless of the size. Um, and an independent research study by the Aberdeen Group tells us that 20 percent of that is actually out of policy um, and, 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 and needs to be controlled. So we're going to be able to deliver you uh, a way to do expense reports faster. Uh, I'm excited to lay out what our goals are and kind of what uh, we'll be able to um, automate for you with our tools. The approval process is going to be 20% quicker 
Uh, that's going to be for you know managers that you have in your organization or VPs that have to approve expense reports. We're going to deliver it uh, mobily, and then really eliminating those processing costs by more than half. Um, totally taking manual key entry out of the process uh, from cradle to grave, meaning when somebody's doing an expense report uh, or they're all the way to accounting when you guys are putting that data into your uh, ERP or accounting software package. So this is what the process looks like today from a manual uh, perspective. You guys are probably out there booking a trip. Um, and you've got users out there, maybe you're using a travel management company today, but that data doesn't tie in and integrate uh, into the expense report. Uh, the next snag uh, that we see really um, all the time is tracking of receipts. How are you doing that today? We're going to show you a lot of options and automate that process for you. Um, make it as touchless as possible for your end users. Make it really easy for your accounting team to audit that. Um, then we're going to have that approval flow in play. You can send that data to AP. In fact, you'll even be able to reimburse your corporate card and your employees directly through Concur if that's an option for you. Uh, and then lastly, reporting and analyzing that data and uh, getting it into the system. So at Concur, we're the first to innovate a lot of things. And you know, I want to relay that to you at a high level here because we're really proud of you know, being ahead of the curve. We have monthly updates in the system, so everything new is plug and play for all of our customers. So every, all 18 million of them get uh, the latest and greatest at all times. Uh, we were the first company to actually automate expense reports all the way back in 1994. It was a it was in a shrink it was in a shrink wrap box. It was sold at your uh, Costco or uh, anywhere else, uh, software stores. Um, but then we moved solely to the cloud in '99. So that's where our entire platform is based. Your user community has access to Concur from anywhere as long as they have a signal uh, and from our mobile apps as well. Uh, we integrated travel into the solution. Um, then we started our mobile development and we actually acquired a company called TripIt a couple of years ago, which uh, if you're familiar with, you know uh, is, is a traveler, uh, just how convenient that is. Our vision here is to book travel, manage your itinerary, uh, automate the expense reporting process, be able to review and approve those, um, reimburse employees and, and corporate cards if need be, uh, and, and, and report and analyze on that stuff. So that's what we're going to go through at a, at a real high level here today. Travel, um, the booking process, that marriage to expense, what it looks like to reimburse your employees, and then analyzing that data as it comes to the tool. So let's kick it off with booking a trip. I think you know the thing, uh, you know, one key component I want everyone to walk away with today understanding is that Concur has got the broadest content that's available in the world today. What that means uh, is a fancy way of saying that there's direct connect companies out there, there's airlines that are only available if you go to their direct websites. Southwest Air, JetBlue, uh, Air Canada are the three prime examples of those in North America. Um, those airlines, all of their content is also available within Concur. Okay, so when you search for a flight, you're not only looking at the uh, you know similar things that people are going to see from a consumer site, but you're also looking at those direct connects as well. Booking a trip through Concur is extremely easy. It's not going to be foreign to any of your users because it's just like using a consumer site. You can see here it's simple. You search you know by date range. You're able to um, you know get the flight content and then select your flight. The magic here, folks is the ability to control travel policy. And so um, you can see here the highlighted screenshot down there to your left. You've got green, yellow, and red. Uh, we refer to it as visual guilt. What it is is green means it's within policy. Go ahead and book it. Yellow might be something that's out of policy. It might need manager approval uh, before it lets them book it. And red, maybe that's a first class ticket, or maybe that's them trying to purchase a ticket um, you know, less than 10 days in advance which tells us that you get more fav favorable rates as an organization, so they have, they're going to have to get an approval to book that. Okay? The point here is, and the magic that you're delivering, is you're able to control the spend from your user community now before they're actually spending money on behalf of your organization or your company. Okay? So these controls are in place. We've also got GSA rates in play. What those are is government standard rates. For some organizations, uh, 
nonprofits or if, you, if you're working as a government contractor, um, we have those rates that are also able to pull in and post as well. Now this is why most folks really quantify using our uh, travel piece. It's super convenient, easy for your travelers, but the e-receipts, um, you know, this is, this is a huge value add. So an e-receipt is an automatically generated receipt that comes over to us from, our vent, from the vendor and automatically attaches and concur to the credit card charge. You can see here by the list of the box we've got it broken into hotel, car, and air that we've got thousands of partners that are part of our network. Okay? And what an e-receipt is, literally sent over from the vendor. So conceptually, I hope everybody's following me and understanding that with the travel component of Concur, you get this e-receipt component that's automatically going to attach to the credit card charge in the expense report. A okay, huge value add. We're even going to take it a step further, okay, and we're going to itemize out the entire hotel stay automatically within the expense report. So if your policy uh, doesn't pay for minibar <laughs> or for movie rental, then that's okay you're going to be able to go in there and differentiate that that's a personal expense. If you're reimbursing your employees for expenses, then you won't reimburse them for those. Um, if it's on the corporate card, um, then you'll you pass that liability on to the uh, employee to have to pay for those personal expenditures. Okay? A real common question is, you know, how do I find an e-receipt enabled vendor? It's really easy. Uh, we actually uh, show you that as part of the booking process. And if you want to default the system to um, you know, show you only e-receipt enabled vendors, then you can certainly do that. Now let's jump into TripIt. So we acquired TripIt a couple of years ago. Hopefully um, some folks on the line are familiar with TripIt and they use it um, in their own uh, travels. Uh, you know, what TripIt did was something very unique. They just made travel extremely simple, right? Taking your itinerary data, that used to look like this when you're traveling, and maybe it looks like this today in your current process. Um, maybe you're saving this data within Outlook, and so you think it's as automated as you can make it, but TripIt automatically pulls all of your itinerary data into a nice, easy to use, um, and track, and um, mobile app. And that's totally in play within Concur, okay? There's a couple of neat features that come along with TripIt, itinerary tracking, um, so that you don't have to, or um, flight alerts, I'm sorry, so that you don't have to download apps for 10 different airlines. It's really objective. Everything just feeds through TripIt. Uh, refund tracking is also in play as well. So that's the expense side of it. Um, you know, maybe yeah, you only have a fraction or a small percentage of your, uh, of your user community that's submitting expense reports, doing the travel, uh, traveling regularly, and that's okay. Uh, we've got several clients that um, that, that, that have the travel in, in place uh, to take advantage of the fares, to take advantage of the control, uh, and lastly, to take advantage of those e-receipts. Okay, so that's a great segue into, now that I've booked my trip, let's go into the expense report process. And our vision for an expense report is really not to have to do an expense report at all. We want to make this as touchless as possible. The e-receipt is an example of that, right? We also have a direct uh, credit card feed that comes into the system, that's going to eliminate, um, you know, user error on the front end from people doing the expense reports, and it's going to make things a lot more efficient for them. You can you can fully build, submit, approve, book travel, do all of that functionality from our mobile application. I want to make that really clear. When we say that you've got full functionality on it, we really mean it. We've got free downloads. This is just part of the tool on any uh, package of Concur that you're going to purchase. We've got iPhones, Droids, um, Blackberries, and Windows Mobile, all available from their respective uh, marketplace or store. We've got card integration, whether it's going to be a corporate card or folks are out there using their personal cards and you're reimbursing them. This is where Concur is really nimble, folks, and we're going to be able to deliver um, you know, whatever your, your current process is. This is what a credit card feed looks like as it integrates into Concur, and there it is at a line item level. You can see what it looks like in an expense report. Okay? You're definitely going to increase the visibility into the spend and think about how 
much time it's going to take somebody to create an expense report if all of their data is already integrated into the system. It's super fast. Again, you're going to be able to access this stuff from anywhere. And let's transition into the receipts. So we've got the e-receipts in play. Now, you're also going to be able to deliver <clears throat> to your teams to just take a picture with their mobile app. They can take it with their camera. They can take it specifically from the Concur mobile app. And it's going to upload into the system. We've newly launched a technology that's OCR technology, optical character recognition, where the receipt image is actually going to create an expense type and automatically attach to that credit card charge as it comes through. So now I've laid out to you already two receipt options that are automatically going to attach to the credit card. Pretty amazing. Next new feature that we just launched in mobile, which is really exciting, is voice recognition. So if I wanted to, uh, let's say, take a flight today, um, and I said I want to fly uh, from the 6th to the 9th, and I need to go to Boston from Seattle, find me a Westin hotel. Uh, it's automatically going to do a search, and the options are going to pop up from within our booking tool and component. So voice recognition is totally in, in, in play as well, which is really neat. So if you're following along, um, you know we've made it really easy and simple to create an expense report. The credit card feed is in play. If they have cash transactions that they need to add into Concur, they can certainly do that. It's really easy. Um, if they have mileage they need to track to, they can do that. We've got integration with Google Maps. Uh, we even have um, satellite or a GPS app launching on our uh, app center uh, later on this month as well. So you can literally hit start and it will follow you through the day and then automatically upload it into the system. So pretty cool stuff. Um, just to cover all of our receipt options here, we've got e-receipts, automatically generated. Mobile images, these are taken with the mobile app. People can also scan and attach their receipts in. They can do this in a batch. If they've got 20 receipts at a time, go for it. Upload them into the system. It's really easy to do. You can even fax in receipt images and you can email them in. What I like to tell folks is whatever the technological IQ of your user community is, wherever they're at on, on that scale, we're going to have them covered. Okay? And in my experience of managing a lot of clients, the you know, end users are going to stick with a method that's going to work best for them and just roll with that. So now the expense report's been submitted, let's talk about the audit and approval flow. We can make it as complex or really as simple as you want. If your organization uh, has you know, several manager steps and VP for approval of expense reports, then that's fine. If you have one step approval and then it goes to accounting, that's fine as well. We're going to be able to um, adhere to whatever your current policy is. One of the really neat features here is the threshold approval so that if I submit an expense report that's above $15,000 and it's automatically going to route from my manager to a VP as an example. Okay? So that's sort of a set it and forget it methodology that when you're setting up the tool, uh, everything's automatically going to pre-route and you don't have to worry about it um, you know, passing it along. We've got auditing built into our system as well. Uh, this is an additional feature uh, within the Concur suite of solutions, but we'll be able to uh, take care of the audit, auditing the receipts um, in, the, in the charges in the expense report, making sure that they match, uh, and before you guys match um, or send off your payment for reimbursement. Just wanted to reiterate here, gang, that you can totally uh, approve expense reports from our solution as well. There's a lot of other um, applications out there that cannot uh, to deliver uh, full functionality. I'm going to make that really clear. It's really one of the things that puts us head and shoulders above the rest of the marketplace. Hey, Joe, we have a question about the receipts. Yeah. Um, are the receipts options exclusive? Um, meaning, uh, do you have to choose one of the options? Oh, no, no, no. No, and I didn't mean to confuse uh, the audience by... Um, you know, saying in my experience with, it, people can use any of those options for any report at any time. All of those options are at their disposal um, on, 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 on Concur for always, forever. Um, so the, it, it just, in my experience, end users usually stick with a method that works best for them, um, and they, you know, utilize that. 
that okay. make sense? Yeah. And Hopefully. I have another okay. question. Um, Tom would like to know if um, you can turn off the airfare feature. They've used a local travel agency for a while now and doesn't know if you'd be able to change that relationship. But yeah. um, is that a problem? No, not at all. So, you know, the, so, so the travel feature um, is, 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 is a complement, you know, within the system. I think, you know, the marriage between travel and expense, getting that e-receipt, if that's going to be important to your organization, uh, then you may consider making a change from your travel management company. We have thousands of partners. Your travel management company may be uh, a partner of Concurs, and you may be able to use our booking tool through them already. That's one of the things that we'll want to vet out with you on a on a on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, to make sure to vet that out and see if 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 you can use Concur with your current partner that you have that relationship with. Any That's a great uh, question? Okay, great. And I have another question. What about um, accepting per diem rates over actual dining expenses? Yeah. So per diem rates and control is is in play as well. We see that really. Uh, it's really common in the in the government space with those GSA rates that I had mentioned uh, through the travel booking. So um, we do have per diem uh, rates. We even have uh, a component inside of it called budget insights. You can also control budget for individual groups or um, departments within your organization as well. Okay. And I have another question about the receipts. I think this is more of a clarifying. So you can use a combination of the options for receipts on one expense report. Absolutely. And that's the way that I use it. I've got e-receipts that come through when I take a business trip. I'll take a picture of a few of my receipts. Um, and for um, cabs, like Square, a lot of them are using Square now. They email you a receipt. I just email that in. So when I get back from a business trip, like I just got back from Boston last week for, um, I, I was there for four days. Um, I did my expense report last night. It literally took me two minutes to do because uh, all of the receipts were automatically attached to my credit card charges and I just hit submit. Perfect. Now, what about, is there a way to make sure duplicate receipts are not submitted? Yeah, there, there is. So, so you know, it's concern about, you know, audit control and making sure that nobody's submitting the same expense more than once. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to flag expenses that are from the same amount for the vendor automatically. Um, as far as the, the receipt auditing and matching those to credit card charges, you've got, um, you know, your administrative staff will be trained on how to audit those, but we've also got the auditing feature that we'll take care of and ownership over that as well for you. We'll audit uh, and make sure that every single receipt matches every single uh, credit card charge and that there's no duplicates in place. I love it. The questions are just continue to flow here. Uh, so one more. Can you customize to get approval prior to travel by managers, not just on the expense side? Yeah, absolutely. So there's pre-trip approval that's in play. Um, you can certainly do that, and that's, you know, that's, you know, a part of our, you know, standard system as well. Great. These are all fantastic questions, so keep them coming. I mean, li literally anything that you can think of in a, from a processing perspective with an expense or you know a, a travel booking, Concur is going to be able to to tackle that for your organization. Um, you know, allocating, itemizing, um, assigning attendees to a business meal, like all of that is in play. All right. Well, those are all the questions I have for now. Awesome. Okay. Great. Um, great questions. Let's move on to the reporting. Uh, you know, at, at a real high level here, uh, the analytics and reporting in Concur is extremely robust. Um, you know, there's over 120 standard reports that you guys are going to be able to pull from. You can also customize if you want. You can pull these out into an Excel format. You can pull them into a PDF to use them internally. You can, you can create dashboards here, uh, which is really helpful for, um, you know, high-level accounting, decision-making. Um, you know, these are some of the, you know, more common ones that we see pulled out of our system. Here's our most two commonly pulled re re reports out of our entire system. Top spenders by employee and top spend by vendor. You know, keep an eagle eye on kind of who's out there spending money on behalf of your organization. Um, you know, top spenders. Hopefully you're able to go back to these vendors and get some corporate discounts. Um, 
you know, when I talk to the small, medium-sized business space, these are things that uh, they don't really have the bandwidth to do normally. Uh, but we're going to, you know, with all the automation, we're, we're going to save you guys time and, and, and hopefully uh, allow folks uh, within your accounting organization to be more strategic and do things like this uh, to add value to your company. Um, you know, with larger businesses, you know, in the larger space, this is something that they're probably already doing today. Uh, but we're going to give you this data here at a drop of a hat. I think it's really important. Posting the data um, into the accounting system, there's a variety of ways that you're going to be able to do that. Um, what I want to cover first is reimbursing the employees. Um, I'll point out that you know we can do direct deposit for your employees right through Concur uh, if you need to. We've also got a file that comes out of Concur that integrates into a variety of um, a payroll systems. So if you use ADP, they've been a global partner of ours for over a decade. Um, or if you're using any other automated uh, payroll system, we'll be able to um, connect into that as well. Now we integrate into a variety of accounting systems, um, literally anything that accepts a flat file. So if you're using one of any, any of the Dynamics packages, um, Sage, Intact, uh, you know we've got we've got a connection that's going to go right into that. And I'm going to show you in a few minutes here when I turn it over to Matt with Brittenford. Uh, we're we're going to highlight our Expense Connect today, uh, where there's direct integration that we have built into the Concur App Center that goes into GP and goes into Intact. I think it's important to understand here with Concur that you've got a lot of choices. Um, you know, we've, we will do a discovery session with you one-on-one -on -one and determine which suite solution is going to be the best fit for you and your team. Not just for today, but you know, scalable-wise for the long term. Um, and our pricing model is based off of volume. So um, you know, you're going to see how many, um, you know, we're going to drill in and see how many employees that you have. Um, What's your current policy? How often are you submitting reports? And we'll figure out what your, what your volume is. The price per report model, it's a basic tiered pricing. It's gonna, um, the price per report is going to decrease as your, as your volume of expense reports goes up. Okay? So it's really easy for us to deliver pricing to you. Um, contracts are, will come over to you via DocuSign. We're so obsessed with automation here at Concur. Everything's going to be automated. Um, and you'll, you're, you'll be able to change your volume whenever you want. Okay, so you're not stuck into a, a concrete contract for an extended amount of time. We're really nimble there. Um, most of our solutions are not going to have any upfront fees at all. You're going to be able to set up and deploy Concur for your team um, the lion's share of the time without any upfront cost. There are certain components like GSA tracking and some Sunshine Act tracking. Those are certain niche uh, products. Um, that, that may have an upfront fee. But most of the time, you're not looking at, 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 at anything on the Concur uh, side of the fence. So we launched an App Center uh, about a year ago. And it's a fantastic uh, feature set for us to deliver um, you know, additional applications for you to use within uh, the Concur ecosystem. Right? Uh, Brittenford is a partner of Concur and available um, to do a GP and intact a connector, even a bi-directional connector uh, w w within that app center. So I think, uh, you know, with that, I think it's a great time. I'm going to turn it over here to Matt. Before we get started with Matt, uh, can you answer a few more questions that have come in? Absolutely. Okay, I have a question here about can you customize uh, to get approval? Um, oh, no, I did that one. Oh, sorry. Can personal assistance access manager reports for preparation. You guys are breaking up there. Can you hear me okay? Yep, I can hear you. Can okay, you hear so the, the can, question yeah. is... Can personal assistants access a manager's reports for a preparation? Personal systems. Assistants. Like somebody's, you know... Administrative oh yeah, staff. yeah, yeah, yes. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I wasn't. I was hearing you wrong. I heard systems, not assistant. Okay, yeah, absolutely. So if your organization has uh, administrators or like a travel manager that books travel on behalf of the organization or certain members of your organization, they can certainly access that. They can proxy in as that person if you give them those rights, and they can book travel on their behalf. They can submit the expense reports on their behalf. Um, that is certainly a very common. 
um, you know, um, usage of the tool for executive teams, um, where they have, you know, folks or team members that go in, um, you know, from a, from an internal support perspective and, and take care of their stuff for them. Absolutely. And then uh, we just want to reiterate, I, I believe you said that the workflow process does include travel authorizations prior to booking travel with Incar Travel. Yep. With and then um, uh, do you integrate with Lawson? We can, yes. Okay, perfect. And are there any other, uh, is there or are there any budget tools that come with Concur? Um, yeah, I mean, there's so there's I, I, I spoke to one real brief briefly. There's a there's a budget insights uh, component plugin that we have um, that can certainly you know depending on you know what you're looking to track budget for. Uh, the most common that I see is uh, per department. They want departmental budgets they want to track to. Um, some of uh, some companies that I, I've seen and rolled out uh, do it by location. Uh, if if there's several. Uh, location so we can certainly plug that in and um, what's great about it is when the person is submitting in a report it gives them visibility into what their budget is so that it makes them drives them to adhere to their budget um, and then you can report on that as well uh, from a high level great and that's all I have for right now okay great thanks gang I'll hand it over to Matt all right. Thanks, Joe. All right, so now we're going to take a look at how we can integrate uh, Concur with your ERP system. And as, as Joe mentioned, um, here at Brittenford, we've um, developed a product called Expense Connect that can help you seamlessly integrate uh, expense data between Concur and, and your ERP system, specifically Microsoft Dynamics GP and Intact. Um, so we're going to take a look at those, um, those two solutions. And Brittenford can also uh, um, integrate into other systems, such as Dynamics SL, you, and use that flat file that Joe spoke to um, to do that. Now, looking at our Expense Connect product, the power is that we've really leveraged the Concur web services and the web services available through Dynamics GP and Intact to really make it a seamless and, and automated integration. Um, so let's take a quick look at Expense Connect for Dynamics GP first. This is a certified module that installs directly into your GP system and leverages the GP web services and the Concur API. This module eliminates the need to, to manually download and manipulate data files to integrate data between the systems. Uh, and as Joe mentioned, there is a bi-directional module as well, so you can uh, take metadata from your GP system and sync that back to Concur, such as projects, departmental accounts, customers, things of that nature, uh, and give folks the ability to book to those, um, those uh, data elements inside of Concur. So once, once the application is installed inside of, uh, it, or it appears inside of the Dynamics GP menu, and it gives you the ability to connect securely to your specific instance of Concur. Uh, once installed, it provides you data mapping capabilities that allow you to set up the integration to meet your specific business requirements. So you can configure the integration to have the expense data flow from Concur into, into GP. Quite, um, most often we see folks uh, putting that data into the general ledger or into accounts payable. And within those two destinations, you'll have the flexibility within the product to manage the mapping of data elements. So you'll be able to assign what fields in Concur are mapped to specific fields in GP. That ability to manage and control the integration through a, a user interface um, and eliminating the need to use flat files really minimizes the time um, that's spent integrating the system and any costly custom development that you might undertake trying to build a, a specific connection between the two systems. And gives you ownership over time. So if your workflow changes or you want to add data elements within Concur or track them differently within GP, you have that power to manage the integration between the two systems. 
Okay, so let's look at our Expense Connect product for Intact. Um, this product operates in a very similar fashion as the GP version, um, except it, when installed, it, it um, appears as a direct menu item inside of Intact. So it's built on the Intact platform um, and creates a secure connection to your concur environment. You have the same flexible data mapping capabilities as you do uh, with the GP version to really configure the integration to meet your specific workflow. You can integrate the expense data from Concur into a variety of different locations and into Intact, including the, the GL as a journal entry, accounts payable as an AP bill, time and expense as an expense report, or even into uh, sales or order entry as a sales order invoice if you wanted to bill out particular expenses. So with the Expense Connect product, you really have the ability to design and manage the integration between systems uh, and take ownership of it over time. Matt, we have a question here. Um, uh, we have, sure. Someone wanted to know, is it necessary to have Expense Connect or a similar product to manage the integration between Concur and Dynamics GP? It is, it is not necessary. No, you will have, I think Joe uh, touched on this a little bit, but Concur gives you the ability, and, and feel free to jump in here, Joe, but you have a, a, a data file that's available through Concur that you can download and, and use to integrate the data. What the yeah. Expense Connect product does is, is really creates a, a seamless web-based integration between the two systems, so you don't have to worry about uh, manipulating that flat file to get the expense data over. Yep, great point. Um, I'll just add in here, Matt, that yeah, there's, there's, there's really three you know, in integration options that, that, that folks are going to have uh, w within Concur. I mean, we're going to provide a download file that, that, that you can uh, you know, manually pull and upload into the accounting system on your own. Um, the trend and you know, really what, what the market is, is asking for and you know, is most common is using uh, a, a connector like Expense Connect to take data and seamlessly just integrate it in. That way you're just totally eliminating um, the uh, human element and the whole expense reporting process and getting it to post into GP uh, or to Intact. So hopefully that helps to add some color there. Great. Thanks, Joe. I have one more question, Matt, for you. What about integration with SL? Yes, so we have built a number of different integrations uh, for SL. Unfortunately, the, the SL product doesn't have as mature of, of web services, um, not to get too technical, but um, unfortunately those aren't as developed as they are for, for GP and Intact. So um, we have a, a, a solution that we can, we can definitely implement for you, but um, it's not specifically like the, uh, the Expense Connect product, but we have um, you know, a number of different clients that we've, we've built integrations to Dynamics SL as well. So we could talk to you specifically about that. Uh, I'll just, can, can I just add real quick here? Gang, that, so that's the third option. I, I know that I said a few minutes ago there's three options. That's the third one, right, to work with uh, Brittenford to uh, do a specific custom connect um, for your ERP system. So SL would be a perfect example of um, you know, what we're currently doing to uh, bridge that gap. That's all, all right, the questions I have right now. Okay. No, that's okay. it. All right. So for more information about our Expense Connect product or that the Custom Connect um, the capabilities, contact us um, here at Brittenford. You can contact Michelle Starkey. Um, she can talk to you more about specifics and um, and even set up a custom demo if we want to if you want to take a look at, at how Expense Connect can really integrate the two systems and and be configured for your specific workflow. All right. All right well, I'll go ahead and turn it over to you to manage the Q and A. Sure, we do. Um, if you do have any additional questions, please put it in uh, the Q and A section of your screen. Uh, we do have one here. Uh, Joe, how are trips and travel authorization and expense, connect, expense reports connected? Uh, okay, so I'm going to repeat that one. So how are the travel, um, how's the travel data integrated into the expense solution? 
I believe so. That, so they want to know how are the okay. trips and any travel authorization that's related to those trips yeah. connected you know, it's to a great question. expense reports. It's a great question. So, you know, I was showing you the timeline of, of the innovation, uh, you know, towards the beginning of the presentation as to, you know, what uh, Concur uh, does. It's all one system. Okay, we're, we, we, we have the travel booking component and it integrates right in through the expense report. So it's one uniform system. Um, it's all built on the same platform. Um, it's, it, it, it's been on that platform for uh, almost 15 years. Um, and it's, 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 it's literally our delivery to the market is travel and expense. Um, and the value there, there's a, you know, there's a number of key features that you're able to take advantage of. The content is great. Right? It's the broadest that's available in the world today. We've also got the, um, the uh, you know, ability to control travel policy. You're talking about your pre-trip approval. Um, you know, all of that data is going to integrate in and aggregate into each expense report. Um, and then you've got the e-receipts. That's the other uh, really key component with the marriage between the travel and the, uh, in the, in the booking is the ability to preload um, not preload, I'm sorry, but to load in and pull in those uh, receipts for those vendors that are booked through the system. Perfect. Hopefully that helps answer the question. I believe so. And uh, I have another question here. Have you seen this used for any field service type environments? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we, we have, you know, so many... Um, you know, different verticals that we specialize in, um, and um, yeah, certainly. I mean, you know, we will, we would love to connect with you on a one, you know, on, on a one-to-one -one basis and do a quick discovery for your specific organization and, you know, really show you and cater to you um, a specific demo for your team on how Concur is going to be beneficial uh, for you specifically. Um, you know, today's just a, a real broad stroke of, of, of what Concur delivers. Um, and, and we're more than happy to connect with you one-on-one, -on -one, um, you know, with the assistance, uh, assistance of the Brittenford team to, uh, to to the connector or customize a connector if need be as well. Okay. Uh, i got more questions rolling in. Thank you all for submitting them. Uh, Joe, can you talk a little bit about how Concur integrates with Salesforce? And do you have any examples for current companies and how they're using it? Yes, that's a great question. With Dreamforce coming up too, no less. Um, so yeah, so we have one of our services. I showed you the different um, versions of Concur, and uh, I know we went over that really quickly. But we have um, a system called Concurforce, which is essentially our standard edition uh, solution. It's embedded with inside the Salesforce.com uh, ecosystem. It's on Salesforce's platform. It's literally uh, when you're in Salesforce, and whoever asked that question is pr probably really intimately familiar with Salesforce. It's a tab within Salesforce.com. You can hit travel or expense. Everything is done from inside the system. Um, it gives you the ability to track opportunities and to accounts uh, from within each expense line item. So you know it makes you really dangerous to figure out what your cost of acquisition is what your cost is for partnerships, the granular reporting that you're able to pull from that system is absolutely fantastic. Um, we also have um, an independent connector that will connect that data into Salesforce for you as well. So if you're a current customer and you're asking, uh, or if, if you're wondering, then, then, then we can build that. We don't even have to build it, I'm sorry. We have a bridge that's available for you to download that data into there as well. Um, if, you're, you know, if you are a Salesforce user, um, it's probably going to be the, the, the first um, thing that we're going to want to vet out and show you. Uh, I will add to that with that specific product. Um, you have your, you're paying for licenses today on Salesforce.com for each of your users. But when you use the expense tool, Concurforce, you actually do not have to purchase additional licenses for people to access the tool. So what I mean by that is if you have 50 people in your organization and you're only paying for licenses for 10 salesforce.com users, you're going to be able to deliver access to Salesforce for all 50 people in your organization to do travel and to do expense, and you're not going to have to pay additional licensing fees with Salesforce. That's part of our partnership. Okay? 
Thanks, Joe. And that was, that was yeah. long winded. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's great. Another question is: um, Is it able to receive invoices to be expensed and then submit to accounting for them to make the payment? Yeah, so we have it. What we covered today was our travel and expense suite, but we do have an invoicing component as well. Um, you're able to automate invoices uh, through our system. Um, you know, the benefits there, obvious one is your housing, T&E and invoice, all AP management within one system. Um, you can, you know, route for approval. We've got OCR technology built in there. Um, and if you want to learn more about invoice, definitely reach out to us, um, you know, and I'll be able to uh, connect the dots on uh, getting you a demo specifically just for you and your group. Perfect. And then another question, if someone takes a trip for three days, how does the beginning and ending date of travel connect to each trip or expense report? Ah, great question. So, you know, when you book a trip through Concur, um, if you booked it on the 1st and you were gone till the, till the 4th, um, you know, the, the, the trip is going to pre-pop in there, um, and so all you'll have to do is hit what we call the expense tab um, within that travel booking of the trip list. In fact, you want to give me control real quick so I can show my screen? Oh, yeah, sure. And so you just hit the expense tab, and literally it's going to preload all of the expense all of the credit card charges that you had from within those dates um, into the expense report automatically. So that's our one-touch um, way of delivering, um, let's see here, boom, okay, there, go. So here is an example. You guys see my screen okay? Great. Can see it. So if, I hit, so if I hit this expense tab, we're entering the live demo environment, so bear with me. I don't know how many charges I'm going to have back in there from May. <laughs> but it's going to preload. If I do have any charges that are in here, uh, it, it's, it's going to load those expenditures uh, right into the expense report automatically just by me hitting that expense tab. So that's how it keeps track. Okay. All right. Well, while it's doing that, has anyone done an integration to any bill for making payments? For any bill? Mm -hmm. You know, I don't, I don't know that off the top of my head, um, but we can certainly research it for you. Um, is, is, that, is that like an invoicing solution that they're currently using? It's a, a payment solution. So payment for, solution. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so we're going to have a flat file that's going to come out of Concur that you're going to be able to utilize, okay? So, um, you know, it, it, it's going to, as long as any bill will accept a flat file, um, then absolutely Concur data will integrate into it, okay? okay. Um, here, here we are, folks, back to the screenshot. There was just so much data that it took a little while to load. But, you know, I hit that trip and see it automatically pulled in all my charges from the 13th to the 16th while I was gone on that trip. Um, into that uh, into that itinerary. And even when I booked my ticket was way back in April for this trip, it even pre-populated that into here as well. Great. So now my expense report's essentially done, right? As an end user, I'm going to go in here. While I'm here, I'm just going to dig through this here real quick, screen. I hope you don't mind. And then I, I can log in here. I can say, you know, what my department is, what my location. All of these fields here, folks, are totally configurable within Concur. So you're going to set those. Uh, within your implementation or your setup, um, and that data is going to map. This is the granular mapping that you're going to be able to do. Expense type obviously is going to tie. It's going to connect right into your GL, right? Um, but you've got these other components. You know, location, customer list, departments, whatever. The world is your oyster here. Whatever you guys want to add in there, you're going to be able to track to it. All right. Another question for you, Joe. What does the Concur system provide as an audit trail for business meals for IRS substantiation? Ah, great question. Yep, I'm going to go ahead and save those changes. See, the tool is so intuitive. If I try to move on and go somewhere, it won't even let me make a mistake. Um, so with attendee tracking, so this is all part of the solution. If, 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 if I choose business meals or, you know, for my demo environment, this is just what we call this specific expense type. 
but I'm going to be able to track different attendees uh, within my meal as well. So the reporting is going to be available in here. So let's just say, you know, I've never been to dinner with Matt. We went for the first time. I'm going to add him in here. Okay, COO. He's with Brittenford. Okay, now, now Matt is forever saved within my system. I go ahead and save that, and it's going to auto, um, it's going to auto um, take this total and uh, itemize it out. See that? Boom, boom. So it's going to report like this. So you will be able to pull specific tracking for my attendees um, that, that that are in the that are in the system. Okay. And I have a question here for Matt. Uh, how often can you migrate data from Concur to, to your ERP? Is there a limit of per day, week, or month? No, nope, there is not. You can uh, you can run the integration as, as often as you want. So you can um, you can do it ad hoc, or we're rolling out a release here in, in Q4 to allow you to, to schedule it if you wanted it to happen at a specific time per week. Uh, but you can certainly do it, uh, run it manually as many times a day as you want to. Now, is that true for both the Expense Connect integration with either GP or Intact, or, and if you're integrating using a flat file? Yes, that is. Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. that's correct. Good. And then, uh, can a person outside the company make a reservation under the company's account, say, a invited speaker to a meeting? So that's for you, Joe. So can a person outside the company make a reservation under the company's account, like a speaker that they might have invited? Um, yeah, I mean, they can add them in there as a user and give them access to do that, or, you know, they can make the travel arrangements and somebody can just go in and book for that person. I, I think, you know, there's a variety of ways that you can manage that. Um, okay. But you can certainly do that. And uh, another question is, our company has a per diem. However, if an officer pays for a meal that is not paid to the employee, how would this be handled? Ah, so, you know, per, per diems, um, I don't have per diems live in my demo account. Um, so we can certainly uh, cover that uh, on a one-on-one -on -one basis with you. Uh, I'll just tell you at a high level to answer the question and address it. The, um, you know, the, the, the per diem amounts are going to be controlled. I think if I'm following you along, somebody, they're asking if you have a per diem and they spend it not on the attendee. Right, I think if they paid for somebody else and, as well. So if they paid for somebody else, uh, they're going to be able to break it down just like this as an attendee tracking so that you're going to be able to manage that. And it's really going to be dependent, contingent upon the organization and how you're going to control those attendees within the system uh, of how it's going to flag, uh, how it's going to alert, um, or um, you know what your controls are going to be um, in, inside that per diem policy. Okay, and if it's like a personal expense, they could just check on the personal expense. There you go. Yep, right there. Personal expense, do not reimburse me. If it's billable to a client, you're going to be able to track billable expenditures as well. Um, I think while we're mes mentioning the personal expense, it's a great segue just while we're here because we've been talking to it. But here's what an e-receipt looks like. You can see it's automatically generated and attached. And by taking it a step further, okay, I've got it automatically itemized out my hotel stay for me. Let's say it's against our policy to, um, you know, to charge laundry uh, to our organization. This is just a random example, folks. I can say that's a personal re expense. Don't reimburse me. Great. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, someone asked, if I buy a ticket today for January travel, will the expense show up on my current expense report for reimbursement? No, not necessarily. I mean, if, if you want it to, it can. Uh, let's go into here. So as an example, let's go back to my home page here so you can see here's my credit card feed, right? So if I, if I want to include it, then I can. Um, you know, if, if I want to create, and here's a JetBlue charge, put it into a new expense report for the month of uh, November, then I can certainly do that. Or I can wait till I'm back from my trip, and I can do it on a per-trip basis. I can hit the expense tab. Once I'm back, 
and all those charges while I'm away will pre-populate into that expense report, it's really going to be contingent upon the policy of the company. Um, some people are really open policy. They let people submit reports per trip. Some people do it every two weeks is their requirement or once a month. Uh, it really depends on you know, following along with that policy as to you know, what the behavior of the end users are going to be with when they submit their reports. And Joe, another question. Can you show the business pur uh, purpose for the business meal on your expense report so that Ooh. I believe this is more for, you know, IRS requirement, stuff like that. I love that question. So here's another, um, now, we're getting, now we're getting in the weeds here, and this is good stuff. Um, so yes, absolutely. So if I chose business meal with attendees, okay, see business purpose here is already pre-populated in um, to, the, to the field. Um, but, you know, if I want to make this a required field, that's part of your setup. And you see these things, the line items that are marked in red here, these are required fields. So I would make business purpose a required field um, for my business meal as an expense type uh, to adhere to my IRS policy. So absolutely, yes, you can do that. And uh, hopefully that makes sense there visually as to, you know, how we're going to be able to set that up for you. Okay. And... Can staff pre-populate the company, a job expense department of, of the trip, so that when the consultant submits receipts, that field is already filled in, since most times the consultant does not know our job codes? Absolutely. So you can do that when you're creating the expense report, okay? Um, you can, you can pre-pop at a user level, too. So like in my example, I'm business development, so my... Um, my department's going to pre-pop as business development every time, but if I need to change it, I can. You can also go into the details here of the header for the specific report, and I can change that. I can say this whole report, I want it to map to ADP payroll, hit save. Now each line item that's within inside of this expense report, the customer job is automatically going to map to ADP payroll. I can also... Um, allocate that out. So if I wanted to say ADP and American Express, because I traveled to New York City to visit both, then I can allocate the whole expense report over two different people that maybe my trip um, is, is, is relevant for. Okay. And we've got to wrap it up here. We've got a couple minutes left. Um, for grant-funded organizations, can you have multiple funding sources that may change on an annual basis and put it into the system? Yes. So that's a very complex question. Um, and, you know, I'm going to give you a vague answer and um, invite you to connect with us one-on-one -on -one so that we can show you that. Um, that is going to be our professional uh, travel and expense tool. Uh, what we're looking at here is our standard. Functionality-wise, it's going to be no different from just what you're seeing, but on the back end, that would be a specific niche uh, reporting requirement that we have built in that you can certainly add. Okay. And can you talk quickly about the audit process of the expense report by accounting? Yeah, certainly. So, um, you know, once you are in an expense report, um, you know, they're going to have a queue that they're going to be able to view. And if I'm in there, like here's an expense report that I have, um, you know, they're going to be able to scroll through. If, if, I'm, if I'm AP for your organization, I've got this report open. A uh, couple of things I want to call out. Number one, the exceptions are going to stick out like a sore thumb. So your expense and your travel policy are going to be built into the system. Expense is going to be driven per expense type. So if my expense type for airfare is $500, anything that's above $500 is going to have a yellow flag next to it. It's going to have that at the report level. And then when you drill into it, at the granular, granular level, it's going to have these flags for each expense type so that you can go in there and match and see, okay, here's my receipt. For this one, it matches that amount, so on and so forth. Those ones aren't available. So let's go to my receipt store here and attach a new receipt. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Okay, great. Okay.
So I'm just attaching a new receipt to that line item there so that you can see that. Okay, perfect. Well, while you're doing that, um, how many other levels do you have outside of standard and professional for concur? Um, well, you know, that's a great, so, you know, we've, 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 we've really simplified our model. Um, not a whole lot. Um, we've got standard, we've got professional, we've got concur force, which is standard edition built into salesforce.com. Um, and we've got premium, which, you know, in very rare cases, um, you're going to have a, a, a premium offering, um, but, um, you know, it, it's certainly available. That's, that's, premium's going to be a solution that's so configurable, it's literally built from scratch. Um, and, you know, okay. for probably more large market or enterprise organizations, um, you know, um, you may um, be looking at a project that's, that's of that scale. But more often than not, you know, standard and professional are going to fit with, you know, over 90% of our, of our customer base and concur for us. And uh, real quick, um, one more question. If, is there a discount if you're already using Dynamics SL, especially for small businesses of 30 people or about half of the organization travels? Um, discounts, yeah. So you know, currently, you know, you know, Brittenford is a partner of Concurs, and so if you if you're working with Brittenford, and um, you know, you you get a 10% discount off the top of our pricing, uh, right off the bat. Um, there's there's if you're if you're if with a 30 person organization, you're not going to have any upfront fees to deploy Concur at all. Uh, we'll be able to set you up to. I mean, you could literally, if your goal is a is an organization, and hopefully there's a lot of um, you know, folks here that are thinking FY14, if you wanted to be live by January 1, you wanted to test the product in December, um, you know, with, with, with a few of your users and then be live January 1, we can certainly um, take care of that for you. Uh, and that discount rate is going to be 10% um, off the top of whatever the pricing model is for that uh, particular scenario. Great. Well, that's all the questions that I have. Uh, why don't we head back to the, finish up the last of our slides real quick. Okay. Do you want me to go to Matt? Yeah, I think I just tried to. Matt? There you go. And so that's it. If you're interested about learning more about Expense Connect, uh, contact Michelle Starkey at sales at com. And if you want to learn more about Concur, maybe Matt, if you could go back to Joe's slide about his contact information real quick. So right up here, that's Joe's information. You can reach him at joe.martino at concur.com, and there's his phone number. And that's all I have. I think those are all the questions. Thank you um, so much, uh, Matt and Joe, for co-hosting today's webcast with me. I'm Shree Mahoney, and on behalf of Joe Martino, Matt Rowley, and all the other Brits, we want to thank you for joining us for today's webcast. Bye now.